Hey everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled, I'm Peter, that is Connor and we are going to talk about Travellers Season 3, Episode 4, it's called Perot. So full spoilers for the episode as always. So this one, you know, teases a couple of things we were talking about last time with the computer, Ruth with Elsa, mm. right, some of that stuff's still going on. Uh, especially near the end, as a scene with it's you know the scientist. Um, do you know, every time they say his name, I laugh because it sounds like oh they named him as a you know it sounds like a guy who built a computer. <laughs> right. Okay. It, it's like uh, oh god, what was it? Is in the cast list? Aye, uh, Tesla. Okay. Yeah, you because know, it sounds like Tesla, and I'm like, yeah, that's a sci-fi name. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. Can't argue with that. I mean, and obviously Tesla was a name. I know Tesla was a name, and that's why we use Tesla for what it is. But I, I'm just saying that connotations, connotations, yes, connotations. Um, so big things happen though. Jeff is no longer Jeff. Well, at least Jeff is alive-ish. <laughs> the body's still alive. It counts. Bo- body's alive. It's funny because we we're talking last episode about how the theme of this season is a circular logic and how. Seemingly here, there was going to be a double murder where him and Carly were going to shoot each other. Yeah. Because obviously the other thing it mentioned here is that Philip's having like weird visions of the timeline that was. Yes. And I think what's interesting about this one is I think this one's really specific because obviously we've talked in the past about how every time something happens like this death here, technically the future plays out as if it happened and then the director sends something back to, you know, yes. fix it, right? So the idea being here that this was about to have what was going to happen this was happening until the director sent the, the, yeah, the, the traveler from back the, from the director's perspective that did happen yeah yeah every time it does happen so uh so i think it's interesting that he's seen echoes of what did happen and it comes out a question of like does it some you know does it actually exist in some sort of way that you know because there's this vision of it mm. you know is there actually a parallel universe being created every single time Don't they know, send someone cause... back? This is the thing. He got all the information recently-ish, right? True. Uh, you know, the the update. And so you're thinking update it's... would have included yeah. this death. So you're thinking it's from the update? Yeah. So in that update, because, I mean, Carly even last... I think it was last episode said, oh, so you know when we're going to die. And, hmm. and he was like, yeah, very... Meh, yeah, kind of... Um, yeah, but we kind of already had the encounter with him where she was going to die because he, he intervened. You mean with, with with Jeff before? Yeah, last season. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that was after the, the the time we knew for sure he got an update. As far as we yes. know, we don't know if he's had one since. I, I think does he not mention uh, in this one that he's he's getting updates again to 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 Trevor just kind of casually? It's like yeah, I'm yeah. But I, I think he just meant that. Like, I, th- I still think that was the last one. I think it just means that every so often they have this update day. Okay, see, I thought that was implying that he'd had one recently. Now, I mean, maybe you're right, but as far as we know, we've not seen anything where he's went and got an update since. Yeah. So, I'm not sure. But, I mean, you could be right that he's seeing what was in the original update. That's what I'm thinking, is like, this is, as far as he's concerned, this is what was going to happen, because, you know, that, that was what he was updated to say, his history. Hmm. And now it's changed again, so he needs, he essentially is going to have to have another update to say that okay no this has changed this yeah. is a big difference to your you specifically in your team so you will need the update yeah but I, when it went last time though it was like a, a full like auditorium full of you know historians which makes me think it's not that frequent because it's something where they have to set up it's like it's not like after every single change there can be an update like it has to be a package no, 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 i agree but i wonder if like because this one is such a a big consequence to his team specifically, right? It's like, okay, no, everything they do now mm. is different to what he remembers because there's a different, you know, there's an extra person. Uh, it depends so, how much they give him about his team, though, right? Well, they like must give him enough. Because we, right? we know he gets the deaths for sure. Yeah. But does he know, like, every mission they're going to go on now, like, he has that in his head? Mm, that's true. Does he have everything in his head? Because if so, then why does he even have to get missions? <laughs> yeah, but he, he must know to a degree because we got, you know, with the kid last episode, he was like, oh, I know it happens at three o'clock. No, that's true. That's true. Uh, so I, I, I assume that was because he knew that from an update. But maybe not. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, it's a yeah. I, I could be murky in that for myself. Yeah, there's, there, there's, yeah, there's the finicky parts of this, but there is. certainly it's interesting. Um, and it, it does open the question: Is it just echoes of the update, or is this something like where he's seeing what the timeline would have been? Because I don't think he's had an update since that time he, he, he went and got the update in the auditorium. Okay. I don't think he has. Uh, and if that's the case, then this would be new because the time where she died was last season when he stopped it before. Yes. In which case, this is a new echo of a, a timeline that he shouldn't have seen in any capacity. Yes, absolutely. Because he's uh, having these visions. Earlier on, he had that one where he was looking at the cup and the pill yeah. disappeared for a second and then came back. Yeah, it's why I didn't question this quite as much because I was under the impression he'd been getting semi-regular updates since mm. then. So I, I had assumed this was, as far as, it, into him, that was the most recent C history. Because I think when he got that update, it felt like that was the first big update he got since they came back. Yeah. Which maybe, was... maybe maybe they didn't need to, they can do smaller updates after that, though. Oh, yeah, but that's just that's just random speculation. Yeah. There's nothing no, to it, it is. I, I, I agree. G given that was the first one and that was like somewhere early to mid-season two, that implies, what, five to six months? Tops. You know, between yeah. updates, maybe. Uh, assuming that that's the time period. So it could be more than that, actually. If they say the last update round for everyone was actually like four months before they arrived, then, then it's actually like yeah. ten months. I mean, who's to say? Yeah, uh, that's true. So, no, that's interesting. But we... So so we have a new traveller in Jeff, and it's interesting that, you know, Carly's ready to shoot him, and everyone else is just... I mean, sure, Mac and Marcy have got their guns up, and they're kind of like, okay, obviously we're on her side, but... Let's try and de-escalate this. And he's obviously shouting. He's like, ah, oh, you're not who you say you are. None of you are. You're all something. And then the countdown comes up. Do you know what I noticed with this countdown? Is it goes away for a second. It started late, but... No, no, it was the way it came onto the screen. It was bigger. It sort of zoomed in. For, it was, like, huge, the way it zoomed onto the screen. Yeah. Because it, it, it always zooms in a little bit. It always starts big and sort of, like, goes into the, the size that it becomes. Yeah. But this was, like, the whole screen it zoomed into. Like, or zoomed out of. It, yeah, it was big. No, no, I like it because it started at 30 seconds and then it went down t and, and it cut away and it just vanished off the screen for like three or four seconds where they were trying to talk him down and then it came back again. What's interesting and though, they were already having the conflict though before it started, which is why it was like a big deal when it, when it came on in the first place because it was yeah. like, oh no, someone's dying here. And it's probably Trevor, uh, not Trevor, sorry, it's, pro it's probably him, but Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff, but like, you know. So been, I don't, I don't know why I'm putting Trevor under the bus all of a sudden, just randomly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, you know, like, like, it was a big moment. It was a big moment. And now, the thing, of course, is that he did send voicemails to Kat and David saying they're not who they say they are. So it's planting the seeds. I mean, sure, Kat's already got a seed, but, you know. It's, but this is just another thing to her, yeah. right? Adding up. Yes. Kat's being yeah, awful Firefly's again. being a piss. Hold on. Yes, of course he is, because okay. cats are the worst. Talk, talk about David getting his bike back. <laughs> oh, do we have to talk about that? I mean, uh, uh, fine. I was I was going to leave that to later, but it's it's a it's a nice thing that he does. You know, he goes you know he goes around and sees the guy he gave the bike to, and he's like, oh hey, where is it? And he's like, oh, well, kind of got stolen. So, and he's in that daredevil phase right now, isn't he? Where he's like, no, no, no I'm going to do anything because he wants to match yeah. Mars. Yeah, he thinks he's, he's, he's like, oh, I need to be tougher now. So he's like, this is almost to try to prove to himself that he can yeah, do this. It's like, if she can do it, I can do it. And he, you know, he gets punched. And he's just lucky. He's just lucky that Philip and Trevor were, you know, going by for, for Philip's drugs. In the neighborhood. In yeah. the neighborhood. Because I actually love how this was shot because we get this POV shot of him and he's kind of like, you know, he's had a concussion. So he's just blurry. Yeah. His eyes are closing and opening. And you just, like, at first you can't really tell who it is. You see someone f jump in and start punching someone. And I went, is that Trevor? Oh, it's like Trevor. Do you know what was really funny about <laughs> this fight scene to me? Yeah. Is it reminded me of, like, something I'd see in Power Rangers. <laughs> it looked like a fight against the putties. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I love? Because we know they're all trained, like, all the travelers on our team. But we very yeah. rarely get to see some of them actually do much combat. And this was just kind of funny to see, like, Philip and Trevor jump in and just, like, yeah. you know, take out these guys. Like, really. It was amusing. Uh, and like he's like, hey, I know you too. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know Marcy. Uh, go, go get your head checked. Have Marcy look at it. <laughs> I yeah. think you're a bit out of it. Uh, and at least the funny, the funny voicemail where he kind of throws up in the middle of it. Um, and at least the, the sweet. I I was really worried about David this episode for a reason. 
Oh. Right, so so part of the main plot then is that uh, Vincent Ingram, who is now in uh, Perot's body, right? That was the you know, end of last season. She is tried. She, the, basically, the, the, the fact with later on we find out it's the faction. That, at first, we don't know who who for sure it is, but uh, the faction try to contact him, and it ends up with a car crash, and he ends up in the hospital. And he's in a coma. Uh, he's dying, yeah. and the faction kidnap him. And they're talking about how we have to put you in another body because you're dying. And I was really worried that David was going to be the body. Really? Yeah, I don't know why I jumped to it, but it was it was just like I think him and Marcy are so happy right now, and I was laughing that she can't you know crack eggs without getting shelled. Like I was watching, I was like, that looks dangerous. <laughs> what are you doing, Marcy? Yeah, yeah, I was too. And it kept cutting back to it, and you just see David just glancing yeah. down at it, and you're like, how long till he stops this madness? Yeah, um, and. I was just worried because especially when she comes home eventually after the mission at the end and it's just so sweet that the heart of the show this relationship but it's like something bad's going to happen to David and I'm not going to no there is I think it's going to be to do with him trying mm. too much I don't think it's going to be uh, what you were thinking there with oh no we'll oh, lose his body I'm, I'm not worried about it now I was just worried about it because it was cutting between like them talking about him needing the mm. host and okay. then you know if anything it's probably going to be the faction lady uh, to, whose name is Dawn um, much like the sister of Buffy in the television show Buffy the Vampire Slayer, she's the key. One of these days, I swear. <laughs> One of these days. Um. Uh. So, so she may have offered her body, uh, for him to travel into. Because I would have thought so. Because yeah. basically, the faction want him. It turns out because we actually were speaking this a lot last season. If if he's actually aligned with the faction, or did he start the faction? And we actually get that answer in this episode. He did start the faction in the future meaning yes. that he actually lives by jumping from body to body all the way to the future from the sounds of it that's kind of cool right it is kind of cool and obviously because we knew the shelter was at 41 and it collapsed we know that that was what the, they became the faction right they're the ones yes. who you know were against um the, the you know computer the AI, and all that stuff the director and they're, they're so screwed because they, they don't have historians like the travelers do they don't have uh, trained medics necessarily they don't yeah, have they don't finances have to make the money yeah so that, so it's like hey we need you as a leader we need you to actually guide us and we know he's got a vendetta against the director and i think he was happy hiding but now he's like he's been presented with this cause and this he's idea like, oh, that he's okay then so you know yeah they end up you know his his men kill a couple of the, the, the faction members but then he's like no nope, stop yeah <laughs> I like that we end this not knowing what body he's jumped into. It'll be a tease later. Because yeah. we'll, there'll be like a few of them that it could be. And it'll be like, right, which one's he in? Yeah, it could be anyone. Uh, so I like that. And I, I like that the team kind of like sussed out that, hey, he's probably jumped bodies, you know. Because the director's like, oh, we think this is Traveler 001. And then they very quickly sort of say, well, we know he's someone jumped in. The director wiped his body. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he didn't jump out of his body first. But yeah. Uh, so that's a big deal, and he can help build things that the travelers have. Uh, so, which means now the faction also now will technically have the ability to jump bodies. Yeah, that's a crazy thought. That is interesting. So, I, do you know what I liked about the way this was portrayed when she was talking to him? It was kind of like it wasn't played in a way where this is just outright evil. It was played in a way where she believes this is that she's on the right side. And she's talking to someone who can maybe help them fight the the travelers. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I think the the faction are inherently more villainous in their methods, in that they're willing to take people who aren't dying, you know, that yeah. sort of stuff. Um, but I, I definitely don't think they see themselves as as bad. They genuinely believe, no, no, this is the right thing and to there, do. There is an irony that the the ones who, you know, we don't want the director to control us because we want this to be human led, are the ones who are okay with jumping into people and taking their lives. Yeah, exactly. There's an irony to that. Arguably a hypocrisy, but certainly an irony. Yeah. So that's interesting. But yeah, so so this is this is really interesting setup for because I, I you know I, it's cool that zero zero one even though we don't have the actor who, who you know I, I love uh, that actor from last season I can't remember uh, uh, oh, Keith Mars <laughs> let's go Keith Mars uh, but like it's cool that the character gets to live on even without him you know they had him for a season but yeah that character now gets it's to like live. okay what next yeah so that's cool. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious to see who the, who it ends it. up in because I, I was thinking because we lost Jeff this episode to a traveler. I was like, 
you know, d- does, you know, d- if David does get taken over by, you know, zero zero one, does he get to play the evil villain now? And is that interesting to watch that actor, like, transform? I think it is interesting. I don't want it to happen yeah. because... No, it would, it would hurt me. David. Yeah, it would hurt me. It would hurt me deeply. But it's objectively but... interesting. Yes. So, no, uh, the funniest stuff, though, despite some of the funny moments that we mentioned, uh, the funniest stuff in this episode is by far a couple of grace moments. It is, but before we get into those, okay. I want to just talk about what, what, for me, was maybe the most interesting moment. Sure. It's it's to do with you know, their, their mission for Ilsa is, you know, right, let's let's get get it online so the director can use it, right? Hey, Ilsa. Ilsa, yeah. Character to internet, yeah. Yes. Um, and for me, what's interesting is the director sent this message, like, no, 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 you do this. And, you know, last episode, we were discussing, right, what's the game here between yeah, the two of them because the director sent that to Mac through the kid because if it, if it came from Elsa herself I would almost theorize that is Elsa pretending to be the director yeah now? but no this isn't yeah. the case this is clearly yeah. traditional director method this is the so kid I, yeah this is the kid I believe this is the director um yeah and this is where the humor from Grace because Grace is so excited about seeing the director that she's like you know let's go and then they leave her behind because she's like still too chipper she's like oh this is exciting get off to stop the faction or you know, go go find zero zero one and it's like there's no uber out here it's just a funny cut yeah. but yeah so so they go in and they actually like Grace sneaks and the, the thing that made me laugh the most though is she's sneaking around the back with a laptop to like sort of do what they're not supposed to because you know yeah Yates is in the room she's like no you can't do this you're not going to do anything without our approval blah blah and she's just doing it sneakily behind her backs it's the shot where she sneaks back into the group shot where she just sort of pokes her head like next to Trevor yeah. Uh, yeah. that just made me it was like, I'll, just, I'll just play dumb I'm just, I've been here the whole time yeah no I like how like, no one seems to notice yeah it's uh, like, yeah of course she was there that was good uh, and even Trevor being kind of embarrassed when she's like Trev and like Max, like, Max, like Trev. Trev, it's like, eh, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So, but of course, that this leads to so so the, yeah, the director wants Elsa to be online, which does help them get information for, for the sake of yes, it, it links yeah. Pero to, to 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 Vincent, you know, Victor, Victor, Vincent. I'm blanking. Doesn't yeah. matter. It's all actually. Here's here's something. So. The director can talk to them live in real time, essentially, oh, which it can do with the kids to a point. Uh, yes. But with the kids, has it been able to respond to like a question, say? Like, it can send a message back, but if Max says, hey, explain why you're doing this. I think if there was a camera recording of it, yes. Yeah, but again, much like you know the deaths that then it goes back and fixes, Technically, history plays out as if it never answered it until it gets it in the future, and then sends it. So to us, it's instant, but to the director, it's yeah. yeah. So, but so I the reason why I say that is because I when it's speaking through Elsa, it feels like it can actually speak live and respond yes. to questions. Because I mean, we get all those shots of its point of view from its eye. Yeah, and well, that's, which, that's which... Elsa's. Te- well, this th- this point's debatable, but at least in this scene, it's presented as Elsa. No, it is, and that's no, that's my point. So if the director goes into Ilsa, right, to communicate yeah. through her, uh, it will have that eye to have the visual contact. And the reason so why it will I say, have the camera there. But the reason why I say this, the reason why I'm I'm making this this point very clear, is because if Elsa has access to the internet, does that mean the director now has access to the internet in real time? Because obviously we know that it, it has access to the the records of like all the footage of everything that was ever recorded and stuff. Yeah, but seemingly giving it live access to the internet in real time let it get a lot more information it did didn't it um i wonder if it's down to it's just what's relevant now it's easier to sort and catalog yeah maybe uh i don't know it's interesting a lot of shit on the internet isn't there's a lot of shit i mean directors waiting through so much porn to get to anything useful yeah, and then there's just us sitting here chatting bollocks. <laughs> yes, yes, we're we're part of what the director's sifting through. Yeah, um, which is a good point. They could travel into us like at any point we we're sitting doing this. <laughs> no, no, they couldn't because we're not live. No, but it doesn't matter because it's, it doesn't matter if it's recording. It just matters if the webcam was on. I think. I don't, no, 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 because they always use like CCTV and stuff. It needs to be time stamped. Yeah, but they also use phones. Yeah, which are pinging to, to give it a live ping time. 
So I mean, you you'd have to get the because it's not the ping time of, of what we're uploading. Where you know, if you're watching this now, it'd be okay. What time is this being recorded? So you'd have to cross reference. Yeah, but it has that. been recording that now. It's through Skype. Oh, through Skype. Good point. Yeah. Okay, you can do it through Skype. Yeah. I'm like, Didn't why are you consider... arguing this? We're still well, on the internet I've got a, talking. I've, 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 just, you know, it's got still... a VPN on. It's it... fine. <laughs> I'm good. The director don't know where I am. <laughs> the director can see through your VPN. <laughs> It's a very good VPN. Um, so, so that's interesting. But the scene later on with with uh, Tesla is Elsa knows things that she shouldn't. She mentions his parents, where he went to university, that kind of thing. Presumably, all matter of public record that you can easily Google. Yes, and then he he asks you know about it, and he gets interrupted briefly uh, with Yates, and then Elsa's like you're keeping my new developments a secret from, from Agent Yates. And he's like, yeah, and everyone, it's just our secret because you're, you've actually starting to scare me, but I don't want everyone else to be scared of you yet. And I'm like, uh... This is sketchy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? <laughs> yeah, you never seen Terminator or Age of Ultron or, you know, pick your, <laughs> pick your yeah. poison. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought it was... um. I was really, you know, I was really expecting, you know, where, where, when he goes, so where did you learn all this information? I was genuinely expecting it to just say Google. <laughs> so here's the other thing, though, like, we've been back and forth, and I, I like the idea that the director isn't evil, but at the same time, ma- making a point of asking, or it makes me wonder, if it, if he's going to Elsa, is Elsa in some way infected the director? How Has she corrupted the director? Potentially. Because... I don't know, I just, as soon as Matt got that message from the kids saying, go and give this thing internet access, I'm like, this is, this feels a bit iffy. This is sketchy. If you, it feels like he's asking him to do something that it shouldn't need to. Yeah. And it, it was just, it was, I was... No, you're right, because, do you know what is, is, is interesting? You mentioned, you know, okay, the director already has access to all the records. At least Why all does the, it need... At least all the footage. I mean... I... But, but we saw it on, like, you yeah. know, in season one for Marcy's Facebook, right? That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how so, the, yeah, that's right. So, why does it need access to the internet now? I, like, are, are we overlooking something really obvious? Because I don't actually know. I kind of went along with it during the episode. Yeah, well, here's the thing. So. Here's the thing. It'd be one thing if we were questioning the motives, and this goes into, like, is Elsa, like, is it doing a favour for Elsa almost? <laughs> like, Elsa wants the internet access, so the director will set her up. Is it part of the mission in that it thinks that, no, 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 the director, in, in whatever circumstances it's predicting, Elsa is a key part of that. It's like, no, okay, Elsa needs to be online. Yeah, maybe that. But he, cause the thing that sticks out to me, though, is that the team themselves never question it. They never question they why. They don't. They don't, and I'm like this is what I'm questioning. It's like, why aren't they questioning? It? Am I missing something? Are we missing something? Because, like I said, because they weren't questioning it, I went along with it. I assumed that there was a good reason. Is it? But is, I can't actually think of what it is. Is it possible that the only things that it has records to, or or there's ex- sections that on that that it doesn't have access to because they weren't public or they got wiped, or you know stuff that's routinely wiped or. St- whatever i don't know because what it was specifically looking into was like financial records medical records that kind of thing that was the information they got yeah yeah i'm just the fact that they can give the historians so much detail on every death on every gambling you know sport event hmm i'm like if that, it, would, if that would all got... be public though it, sure. it would but So, but but here's the thing. So if it, it, it's this stuff that it's you getting now, you know, like the the stuff that links, you know, the the zero zero one bodies, right? Yeah. You know, uh, like you know the the custody, of the kid, etc. That would presumably be public. And if it's not, why can Ilsa hack into it, but the director can't? Within given the director has near infinite amount of time to do such a thing. Is it something to do with the fact that, like, specifically with 001, right? And the fact that he's covering his tracks. Okay. And, you know, the way he's doing it, the way he's jumping, he's jumped from another body. 
uh, because because when they get because the first message they get from the director is like you know you know there's an eighty nine percent chance pro, you know that this is zero 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 one. Yeah, it's not like you know hard science. It's not. Yeah, they check the ECG and it's like yeah, I mean it's probably. Yeah, so I I'm just I'm wondering if like it's because of the way zero zero ones covering his tracks and the way that he's manipulating their because. Because he knows how the, how the traveler system works, he knows how the director works in terms of mm. getting his information. I wonder if it's specifically to do with counteracting that. Because if it's if it's got live access in present day, it can circumvent some of his, you know, blocks, some of his methods. Potentially, yeah. And, and maybe it doesn't even need access forever. Maybe it's just a case of it need access just this once to, you know, see through this. It could be, yeah. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm genuinely questioning, it. and we're we're creating potential reasons, um, yeah. but I don't I don't know if I believe them. I could believe just about any of them. I think. No, no, I could believe them, but I don't know if I do. I don't know if I'm convinced that it was as benign as it seems. I mean, I'm just. The team not question it makes me think it's, just, it's actually not that weird a thing that we, that yeah, we are. They never over question this. the orders, do they? They, they? they question it a little bit. Like we've often heard them say, "Why did the director pick this person, or why did the director do this, or or whatever?" Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe it, maybe I'm over there. Maybe it's not. Uh, but, uh, well, let's look at it this way. Well, if it's less to do with the the current current mission. And it's more just about the director wants Elsa to have internet access. Yeah, that's what I suggested a couple of minutes ago. It's like, okay, no, yeah. it's just that. R- rather it's that simple. Than, yeah, that was the mission. It's just like, no, no, no. It was. It's. It's predictions mean that no, Elsa needs internet. So let's get that done. Yeah, and you know, the, the then, fact the fact that they get information right after that is almost convenient coincidence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Okay. Um, unless are they using the the processing power of Elsa, and that's like that's like searching the internet in present day for them, because it's not like the director necessarily sends back a lot of like hard info like that, at least from, you know mission to mission. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. This is very fascinating though. That's like, the, the motive. Yeah. What if it's just a simple case of Elsa? can process and search in present day before there's more internet data and therefore do it quicker. But my question is, does it need to be quicker when the director has essentially infinite time to change it? It's not infinite. Well, I- I- infinite in the sense of it changes and it rewrites, so then it's it's like, okay, well, we're back here, right? What do you mean rewrite? So when history changes, the director's aware that okay, it's changed. So it it it, it buys time every time it does that, right? It extends its 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 life essentially. Well, yeah, to a point, but it it can um, it can never send a traveler back further than no, you know. no, of course. So so it's it, it's essentially always only ever gotten from when the newest traveler gets sent back to whatever his present day is. Yes, but what I mean is. The director has as much time as it wants to make the decision of what its next move will be. Presumably. I don't know if I quite buy that it's infinite. Okay, fair enough. I don't think it's quite infinite. In my mind, it's a it's a lot of time. It's enough time for a supercomputer to process these things. I'm just I'm just wondering if it if it you know it just ha- having a supercomputer that's doing a lot of this work in present day. So that the 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 date is already sorry because because there is kind of a a weird like time loophole that's happening here because the director can interact with everyone through this supercomputer. Yeah. That has to be speeding a lot of things up. Uh, potentially, yeah. You know, in a number of ways, the the, the fact that you can interact with people, the fact that it does seem to be real time. You know, to what extent it can also talk back to them. You know, and so on and so forth because. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm curious, um, and that that's why I, one of the things I said uh, like last episode I think, or maybe the one before that, uh, was that is the director in a weird way try to make the director exist in the twenty first, yeah. like you know, separately, 
so that it already exists and they can already fix things o- almost as if like trying to fix it from the start like in the 21st will will help it would almost make it a neat rival to 001 in the sense that you know okay he starts the faction but he's fighting from the present day yes can the director do the same fight at both ends yeah <laughs> which we get really complex thinking about this now <laughs> yeah like i said that one bit where the director asked them to do this is probably the most interesting bit for me of the episode and it's a good episode yeah yeah i, I don't think it's a mistake i don't think it's a mistake because we're questioning why we didn't need access to the internet when the director has access to all the all the the records maybe there's a dumb detail we're missing here that, that kind of explains that's, that's it. what that's what i'm thinking i'm like are we missing are we wasting all this time for yeah. <laughs> something stupid which is very possible but because I, I had that thought, you know, why why doesn't it just have access to all this in the future anyway? Because it seems yeah. to have done in the past. Um, but it could just be, no, that the mission is just this on its own. Uh, yeah, it's an ulterior motive, essentially. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, I'm curious, I'm curious to see what comes of this. Uh, I, I think, if nothing else, it's letting Elsa learn quicker. Yeah. Because now she has access to, the, you know, everything. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So, so she's learning. Uh, is the director yep. in love? Has he found a mate? <laughs> is that what's happening? Now, the one thing we've not really uh, spoken about yet is Kat's side of things. And Kat coming to see David. Yeah, uh, so j- jumping from Terminator to, to Body Snatchers. Because <laughs> she's that, that therapist and the therapist is trying to convince her not to be afraid of her husband. She, she can't say it. She can't say the words, I'm not afraid of my husband, because that's how the scene ends. Yeah. So she can't quite finish the sentence. Uh, do you know what I like? This has probably had the best fake out of it because they've established quite you know well that she's having these little things where it, it seems normal at first and then Max says something really intimidating and it's like no no it's a flash it's just a a, 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 a fantasy but well, a vision a vision yeah so so you know uh, and and they played this one so long at the end where she's in the house and he comes in and they're kind of flirting and she's like it's you know all kind of nice and normal until he just ra- casually says. Oh, it's a shame we're going to have to take this body. <laughs> and, yeah. And then she wakes up, and then Mac walks in like right after, and she runs and off to the she, bathroom. Yeah, she can't take it. And then it's 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 what it's interesting as to what we hear next, isn't it? Yeah, because Mac just says, uh, "Yeah, Philip, we're going to have to go through with it." And she she hears this. She's like, "Let's yeah. in the bathroom." And, and I say, "This is where okay, this is body snatches." And I'm sure that oh, I'm sure obviously not going to overwrite her. They're going to try and you know wipe her oh, mind no, again not, or whatever. Uh, absolutely not. Just going to overwrite her. Yeah. But what overrider? No, they're absolutely not. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because that goes against their entire thing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and I wonder at what point it's like oh, we just because because actually one of my favorite parts of acting in this episode is David uh, in the scene with Cat when he gets angry. Yeah. When, when she's like, you know, you know, is, is it completely ridiculous? Could it be possible? And she's like, you know, listing these reasons and talking about it. And he like, you know, he punches the, the, the counter and he says, no, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. And then he like, you know, he calms down. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. That's not me. And, you yeah. know. Is this where it's the, the shot of him in the mirror? There's a shot in the mirror. There's also some, uh, it's what I explained on the phone actually earlier on. There's a nice shot of like the clock in the foreground just out of focus. But it's like, a really, yeah. it feels like time is ticking down. I think that was one of the reasons why I thought it was, it was is he, getting, yeah, okay. is he getting swiped? Uh, but, you know, just because it's funny because again we spoke book about this last time or the, or not last time because last time didn't have any David in it, but the idea that unlike Cat Mars, the Marcy that David's fallen in love with and is in a relationship with has always been this Marcy. Yeah, she didn't exist before. Really. Yeah, there was that weird thing where she got got reset for a bit, but then she got her memories back. You know, but like it's still yeah. her. Like it's still been her. Yeah, because you know, Cat says, "Oh, you know, the the Marcy you met has she is this her and." Technically, no. No. But the one but the he's Marcy grown he... close to has always been yeah, hard. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so so it's, it's a murky ground. So, you know, I, I can understand why he's so frustrated and doesn't want to think about it. Yeah. He doesn't want to ruin this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's so sweet. You know, when she comes home at the end, like we said earlier, is this really sweet scene where she's like, checking his, you know, his eyes and stuff. And, you know, they're, yeah. they're joking around and, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, it's painful, but you're home now. I don't care. <laughs> it's yeah. fine. Uh, so you know, like I'm expecting tragedy, but at the same time, he has the most logical reason to not actually be that betrayed. I mean, he'll be betrayed because she lied, sure, 
but I think he can get over that. Yeah, yeah. It's basically just about a point where you know, like she's like, yeah, I may have a mission to do. I mean, she, yeah, he thinks it's just the FBI, but like, it's getting getting closer, isn't it? It's getting close to just like emitting kind of you know what she's doing during the day, but not actually telling her in the same way that you know someone who does secret work can't tell them about it. Yeah, exactly. I think they find out by the end of the season for sure. Oh I yeah, think, we're, um... we are building to that. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have to. Um, you know, they're already talking about how we can kind of suspend, you know, the, the protocol because, well, we had to work with the FBI, you know, the FBI and the authorities in general, so maybe we can stretch it if we need to. I wonder if they just outright get permission from the director at some point. Is it more interesting if they go Both against book. the director? Yeah, no, yeah, I it's mean, like, no, 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 we're doing this anyway. But they have done that before with a kid, you know, with Alexander. So, I mean, yeah. we've got precedent for that happening, so... yeah. Uh, both both are intriguing in their own ways. They are. So you know, I I, I don't want to be killed, but I I, I am treat. I think Jeff's an interesting question now. You know, the, the the new Jeff, like because he's a news traveler who's just came back. Is he like, well, protocol says that we should still try and be a couple and pretend. And Carly is, you know, I don't want to see your face. I, I don't care that it's not you. Like, <laughs> yeah, but does does she do it in this in in a way to maybe get the kid back? Is that ship sailed though? I don't know. I feel like it's sealed, but... Um, are we, we going to see new Jeff still deal with being an alcoholic? Yeah, kind of like how Philip's still got the heroin addiction. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I could see that being a thing. I kind of liked how he arrived and he was already drunk. <laughs> He's just kind of like... He was... I think he had a can in his hand every time we saw him this episode. Yeah, he, he did. Um, I actually, you know, typically Jeff's, you know, the weakest character and the scenes with Carly tend to be the, the, the lesser stuff. It's... It's why I'm really glad that we've done this change. Yeah. No, it made sense to do it, but he obviously planted those seeds in the other characters first before he went, which is nice. Yeah. But, I'd, funny enough, his scenes with Carly are so much better when she just says, screw it, and just pulls a gun on him, like, immediately. Cause, yeah. Because he shot himself when he when she opened that door and just pointed the gun at him. It was like, oh, okay. Because yeah. like, he was acting all this, like, oh, yeah, the last time you beat me up, I was drunk. So, you know, now, now I'll beat you up. It's fine. And, oh, gun. Uh. <laughs> like pretty sensible reaction yeah so no uh yeah it was, it was good it got us talking <laughs> well it's another really good episode it, it got us theorizing and thinking about concepts which is the thing this show does best uh it absolutely is beyond yeah. anything else but uh it also has good characters it also has exciting it does, plots. and it delivers on it you know we, we theorize and all these things and we're usually not right but it delivers on its concept in a way that maybe we didn't foresee but it always delivers on it in some some way yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's not necessarily like everything we've ever speculated has been answered up until now but we get enough answered at a reasonable rate that we never feel like it's it's holding back on like exactly developing its its mythology or whatever or its rules yeah. so, so uh no it's interesting so faction have have the body swapping um and it's interesting that it's faction from the future who already worship him have come back now and have now made a leader out of present day Vincent. I think that's interesting. Yeah, it's it's again this self fulfilling circle of yeah they 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 almost inspire him to be the leader. Yeah, and uh, start it in the first place, kind of thing. And the faction only exists because the travelers changed enough that 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 collapse didn't happen. Yeah, this 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 season is is all about consequence. Yeah, Con consequences and loops. Yeah. I'm so into those things. As, as, as okay, if that's your 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 seasons and arcs and themes, yes, sign me up. <laughs> All right, that's episode four. We'll be back to episode five the day after tomorrow. That is the going schedule. Uh, so let us know what you thought of this one in the comments below. Like and subscribe. All that stuff, guys. And Twitter's at mailed underscore fuzz for channel updates. Uh, if you want to support us uh, a ton, go over to patreon.com slash TV. You can support us for as little as a dollar per month. And you can feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. You get some stuff early, you get some other stuff and some discussive shows and whatnot. Uh, but go have a look at that stuff. But otherwise, that is us. So thank you very much once again for watching or listening. Uh, we always appreciate it. Keep watching TV. Have you got any vanilla? <laughs>